Hello, Hearts of Iron 3 fans. This, of course, is Gamer1745 with a short tutorial about reinforcing of units, um, replacing losses, if you will. I just got a question, somebody who's new to this game and this wonderful game. Um, I'm still glad there's people still finding this. And hey, there's still details I'm learning about the game, so there's nothing wrong with being new and not knowing everything about a fairly complicated game. So we'll get into that, but just before that, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You can, of course, hit the like button and post a comment below. And I know a few people have, um, maybe Klaus did, uh, post um, some ideas for more tutorials, maybe, and I may have forgotten them or haven't done it or whatever. So you can always post an idea that you may have for a tutorial, but this is one that I should be able to um do and I'm going to look at um, three basic elements or reinforcing ground forces, um, air, air units, and naval units uh, about what's going on here. So, um, first, reinforcements here. Right now, and this is in a bad situation, I'm not handling it right, not handling it well at all, but it should be if you want to make sure everything's getting reinforced. Um, need to have that on maximum. Um, now, if you just don't have enough ICs, if you're playing, I don't know, it's Japan or somewhere, but you want to make sure a particular unit is reinforced, what you can do, and I think we'll have a few that have appeared back here, you can come here and uh, this reinforcement's impossible to turn it on and off, um, or you can come over here so you can turn off reinforcements if you don't want to reinforce a unit. If you don't, just on a side note, if you don't want it to receive upgrades, like I don't want, which we don't have here, but you'll see on with Third Reich events um, mod added to this, you'll see a lot of SA units, and I don't want them um, receiving upgrades. I just want them to keep be junky um, uh, SA units. I don't want to um, spend it here. But you can come over here and prioritize a unit for reinforcements. So even if you don't have enough for everything, but you want to make sure a few critical units do get it, or if you just have a few critical units somewhere, that you want to make sure they get the priorities either way, you can prioritize it. I don't think if you're fully re, um, fully um, funding reinforcements to the max, or potentially even higher, though that could just be a waste if it's too much, but um, you, you'll get that showing up there so um i don't know that that helps it at all if it's if you're getting fully um funded for reinforcements some units will show up especially under the new current version of black ice will show up with zero strength so you will need to in essence have the reinforcements turned on to them. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this because I'm not going to keep playing from this say or this tutorial. So okay, ground forces. Need to make sure that you um oh and they won't reinforce while they're in combat. Um but I don't think movement or other things affect reinforcements. I'm not sure. They also need to be in supply, I do believe. Um just be able to trace a supply. I think, but um, meaning if they're all cut off somewhere, they won't get reinforcements. So that part is an I think. Right. Okay, so that's ground enforcements. That's reinforcement. Another reinforcement is air units. Let's see. Let's come over. Little float. Um, Flicker court. Okay, here we go. Here. Now, this unit is at Konigsberg here. So it's. Um, it will need to be at an airbase, obviously, and not doing anything else. Maybe resting might do it, but normally this, this ensures it'll get reinforcements now, get replacements. But you need to watch one thing here. See this? See down, right look down over here. It says there are 16 units base here. This base can repair 16 factors, current number, of Rein, um, repair or bring in reinforcements of units each day efficiently. So if you have more than 16 units there, 
and they need re, re, reinforcements um, or repair, however you want to say it. It's going to be super slow. The more units overstack, the problem. So if you have a one strength air base or something like that, there's this is 18, but um, look, okay, so this is like a four base, and you got got eight, nine, 10, 12 units. No problem if you need to get them there to support an operation. You know, oh, we need to bomb out here and we got to get close enough. Great, fine, bring it overstack uh, on a on a base. No problems whatsoever with overstacking except they won't reinforce so once they're damaged just you got to sort of micromanage it make sure they go back to a base in which they can not be overstacked on and they will get their reinforcements okay so again you got to look at basing limits the really now we can also the other obviously is supply make sure you areas are in supply to operate but um, overstacking really only penalizes the reinforcements of um, an air unit. So you have to watch the stacking limits there. Now, similarly, we have with naval forces. Now, naval forces must be docked at a base to get reinforcements. Like uh, everything that I've noticed in playing, this will get reinforcements as it, you know, uh, strategically deploys forward but not while it's considered attacking moving yes attacking no uh, and attacking could simply mean i designated to come here okay well let's stop this okay well they can't come uh it's not liking that okay well maybe it's just too shattered to attack but if you're telling a unit like this the well this is actively moving into a unit but um, if well, do we have somebody like that would be attacking, even though it's just sort of moving. It's actually, I think, with a red, it's attacking. So they ships need to be at a base to get reinforcements. Bases here, um, naval base here, level ten. And I don't know if we click on it or... Okay, yeah, hold over here. You can see this because it is a level 10. Um, these can repair 182 units a day efficiently. So unless you're getting into a really small micro port somewhere like up here. Okay, that's just 18 and this is a level 1 base. And um, base naval basing efficiency here does affect... That I'm not sure. I've never really played a minor so much that doesn't have some of those. But naval base and efficiency um, is a modifier to how much I can do that. So if you get a submarine, say, like this one here, now I, they can go. This one can go up to 172 percent strength in current black ice. But it doesn't matter whether it's black ice or regular. It needs to sit back in a base to get reinforcements it also needs to sit in a base um, I don't know if there's any of these guys yes you can see um, small warship ASW um, plus the 49.6 it's upgrading to get its upgrades that it's going to get in the field or at port shall we say it needs to go, it needs to be sitting at a base. If you start operating it, it stops getting those upgrades. It doesn't go back to zero, it just stays at whatever the percentage to then go up, right? Okay, so there's that. Now, um, there are, since we're sort of on the topic, and I know we've busted this fleet up pretty bad and it'll get its uh, reinforcements okay so it, like you you can see this vessel is getting underway replenishment battle fleet concentration some of those are doctrines but if it wanted to um upgrade uh some of the other techs i don't know if i can specify here maybe all these are upgradable fast battleship design upgrade no Battleship, okay, Battleship Model 1933. See where it says it right down about here on this um, thing here, Battleship Model 1933. Now, if, and this is sort of a long, I'm sort of expanding this a little bit. Um, 
if this if we were to build this pocket battle up here we can look at the, the year models the rest of the other information is just more um eye candy on most of these things but it's your model um there you go. Okay, so special treatment okay um yeah maybe it's the gray ones here that are upgradable later on maybe not i don't know maybe not i don't know um but the basic level model just trying to see what what your model this would come out in let's look at maybe click on battleship um It's getting longer than I thought of a video. Um, but what I think what I'm going to say here is going to be useful. Well, let's just say here, and I'm not seeing what the year battleship. Maybe I'm just not reading this well enough. Medium air. Invented armor model. Okay, well, some of these, like the armor model, um, there's some that won't upgrade. Oh, capital ship build. No, I don't know. Um, some of these um, fundamental, shall we say, um, model, year model stuff, will not upgrade in the field. But if you want to take an old ship that's, say, a 1933 model, you've gone through and you've done a lot of these texts and these texts, um, especially like armor thickness, screws, ship hull, and you've moved enough because these are just, you need to move through a combination of these to then move through the basic levels. Um, battleship class that's here probably um, would be what, if, once you unlock enough, you go through these. Once you want to like upgrade these, you need to send well, I think these are technically in Germany. So you can come here and you can upgrade this unit to itself. So you would upgrade it to a destroyer. So it is already a destroyer. What it would do is it take whatever model is currently that it is. And if there's a newer model, it would go through the, um, the production system through again and upgrade it but it is cheaper than building a new one so if we had the extra ICs and we had a bunch of out-of-date ships submarines whatever we want to get them to newer models we can push them through the um, upgrade process you know uh, upgrade it to itself um, some these might be like light cruisers or heavy cruisers might be able to um, be upgraded to a light um, carrier or something, a CVL. So there may be some of that converting stuff over to carriers. But generally speaking, you would upgrade it to itself, which is just itself at a newer year date. It's cheaper. I don't know that it's too much quicker. I don't know the build speed for that, but it is cheaper than building an all new unit. So if you got a big bunch of and na navies with old ships like the british you might want to do this germany will generally have newer ships but um you might want to do that so that's upgrading not so much reinforcing but just these guys are at a major port here um they can repair 83 ships and we have 15 so we're fine they're getting repairs so long as this is you know maxed out or if you want to prioritize a particular ship so i hope that helps again if you have another question a simple you know thing maybe i can get to it um do look these videos seem to be relatively popular so um and i so i presume helpful so thank you so much see you next time for even more hearts of iron